differentiate from first principles y is equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. So, if y is equal to f of x, if we want to differentiate from first principles, dy by dx will be the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So, if f of x is equal to 3x squared 2x plus 4, then f of x plus h will be, instead of x now, we put x plus h. So we get 3 brackets x plus h all squared, minus 2 times x plus h in brackets, plus 4. So, now substituting into this, we can have dy by dx equal to the limit as, it, as h goes to 0, 3 f of x, so it'll be 3x plus h all squared, minus 2 times x plus h, plus 4. And the next bit, because you're going to take all of it away, you need to put it in brackets. So it's minus 3x squared, don't forget the bracket here, minus 2x, plus 4, close the bracket, all over h. Now this looks quite horrendous, but it actually is not. This here needs to be expanded. So the limit as h goes to 0, expanding this is like expanding a plus b squared. So it's going to be 3x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Taking the 2 in, we're going to get minus 2x. Don't forget to change the sign. We've only got a minus times a plus. We've got a minus, minus 2h, plus 4, minus 3x squared. Minus times a minus makes plus 2x squared. A minus times a plus makes minus 4 all over h. We've got this 3 which can go in here. So we've got the limit as 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2x minus 2h plus 4 minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 4 all over h. So dy by dx will be the limit as h goes to 0 of all that. Same thing again. Now we can see here there's a 3x squared here and a minus 3x squared here, so it can cancel out. We've got a minus 2x and a 4 2x here, so a lot of things are going to cancel out here. And we've got a 4 and a minus 4 here that can cancel out. So writing what's left, limit as h goes to 0 of 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2h over h. Okay, so we'll now factorise out an h at the top from the numerator. So doing that, we get the limit as h goes to 0 of h. We get 6x plus 3h minus 2 over h. Now, because h is very, very close to 0, but not 0, these h's can then cancel. And we get the limit as 6x minus 3h minus 2. And now we let x be equal to 0. So, like, so this bit here, 3 times something very, very small is very, very small, so we'll just ignore it. And we're left with the derivative, which is 6x minus 2.